Hello, welcome back. Today I have got you another top 10 side deal tweaks which is compatible with iOS 13 to 13.3. And now if you take a look at the clock icon, you can actually see the lock button. The tweaks allow you to lock any app and it is completely free. And as you can see, when I click on clock icon, I need to confirm with my face ID in order to open this app. But for those of you that using um, Touch ID, it also works with Touch ID as well. And now I can confirm with my face to open clock app. And as you can see, after my face has been confirmed, and clock app is open straight away. And now you can lock any other app as well by go back to settings. And then you can select the application that you want to lock. Let's go to um, camera app. And now I can go back. And it tweaks does work without spring. And now we can go to camera. And as you can see, camera app has been locked as well. So we just confirm with the face ID or touch ID in order to open those app. For some reason, if face ID or touch ID doesn't work, you can just um, use passcode. And this is the passcode that you set in setting. And here's the password. You can change the password as well in the tweaks. Smarter low power mode allow you to enable low power mode automatically. Um, you just set the percentage and then low power mode will be enabled automatically. And as you can see, I just set uh, 100%. So low power mode should be enabled. And you can also set your custom percentage as well. Or you can go to 50%. And if you go to 50%, my low power mode should be disabled. The battery is um, higher than 50%, but if the battery is lower than 50%, it should be in the low power mode automatically. And this is a very good trick to preserve your iPhone battery. Move on to the next one. I have got you a brand new Zenatium L widget. And this widget, it is completely free. Before you can use this widget, make sure you have Zenatium L installed on your device. And then you can go to lock screen. And make sure lock screen is enabled. And then click on background widgets. Click on add widget. And then you need to click on this one. And this is a brand new um, Zenatium L widget. So we have the big clock. And we have the date in the middle. And you can click on check. And now go back to your iPhone lock screen. You can see um, the new widget here. Usually with stock iOS app, when you go to photo and you click on share button, you can actually see um, contest. So I'm on the top. But after you install it tweak, when you click on share, all of those contests will be high. And we don't have um, contest anymore. Safari Plus allows you to customize Safari and enhance the usability in Safari. And you can customize pretty much everything from here. So you have um, download and you can customize um, the button and you can change the color and just um, enable some of the button here and then you can select the specific color and you have some gesture as well. You can um, enable some gesture. Pale volume allow you to change the volume and um, brightness into pale. And now when you go to control center, you can actually see the um, brightness and volume and it, and it turn to pale. After you install it tweak and when you go to edit mode, so for example, you can hold on app, click on edit home screen, and you can actually see on the top, it turn to percentage and it turn to clock. And as you can see, so instead of done button, it will turn to clock and percentage. This is also a brand new Zenitium L widget as well. Go to lock screen and go to background widget and click on add widget. And you need to select Catalina. And here's the new widget that we have got here just just click on check and now go back to your lock screen and we have got a new widget and on the top we have the clock it is written in text and at the bottom we have um, the battery percentage let's go to the next one this is also a Zenith team L widget as well so you can go to home screen and make sure home screen is enabled and then go to background widgets and we can add a new widget you need to select this one and here's the new background widgets. So we have the music player. So you can click to play the music. And as you can see, and then you can click on uh, forward to move the song, to go to the next song. And you can see the music is playing. Playback Safari allow you to play any music or any video from Safari in the background mode. And now when I go to Safari, and you can see the music is playing. 
and now I can go to my home screen and the music is still playing as well and you can check in control center and here's the music it is playing as you can see and finally thanks for watching I hope you like all of this tweak and then I will see you in the next one